Okay, today we're going to take a look at building our own parallel port cable. This is the parallel port cable. This uh, D-shaped connector is called the 25-pin D-sub connector. Uh, these are the pins, and we will be w wiring the pins onto the wires uh, that I'll show in a moment. And here are the wires coming into the back of the D-sub connector. So you'll need to get a parallel port cable and strip all of the wires and untangle them because they do come in twisted pair and you need to then strip the ends of the insulation off I'll take an example here so that there's about five millimeters of bare copper wire then you need to take one of the pins and they come on a steel uh, band like this and they come attached so you just twist it off if you take a close look at the pin, you see that there is two flanges. One at the back, which is larger, and one in the middle, right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the needle nose pliers to bend those flanges over. So first of all, you put the bare copper wire into the pin and hold it with your two, uh, your two fingers. Then you take your needle nose pliers and you bend one of the flanges over. You bend the first set of flanges, the smaller flanges, over top of the bare copper wire. Then still holding the pin with your uh, finger and thumb, you take the pliers over to the other side and bend the other end of the flange down and squish it tight. At this point, the pin should be securely connected to the wire. There are two more flanges at the back, and these can be these flanges need to be bent and crunched down also. Once the flanges have been uh, bent down, you then need to uh, check to make sure that the uh, pin is securely mounted to the wire and it's not coming off. Okay, almost got it. Sometimes these ones at the back can be hard to get a grip on with the pliers. But once you've got them on there, and then tug it gently and make sure it's securely connected. Then you will do the same thing for all of uh, the other eight wires or seven wires and attach a pin to the end of the bare copper wire.